Welcome to Portage Line and Knot Crafting. This began as an answer to the adage, at some point you will be handed a line and expected to do something constructive with it. For this you need skills. For skills you need a training program for yourself. That's why I created the Knot of the Day for my fire service members. And essentially what we would do is practice one knot at the beginning of the morning each day at work. By the end of a few weeks, all the knots that they needed to learn were completed, and then the list was re redone over and over again. There's three basic concepts or things that you need to consider when starting your education in knot crafting. One is a textbook. A textbook is very important because it gives you written documentation in proper practices. It gives you practice and knowledge. It allows you to acquire skills. And the book is suited to specific needs. Note that my particular book, as I am a sailing aficionado, is the complete book of sailing knots. That's not the book that you would want to purchase if, for example, you are a camper. You would want a book that specializes in camping knots because they are different and they have different purposes. If you were a rope rescue technician, you would want a complete book of rope rescue knots, neither the camping or the sailing knots. So consider very carefully what text you purchase, because that's going to form the basis of your knowledge. The second thing that you need to consider is the actual size and type of the line or cordage. The diameter is important. Because if you tend to if you intend to pass these lines through grommets or certain size eyelets, one line that is too thick won't work for you. So there are many, many different sizes and dimensions that you can choose from. And that'll be more covered in your book. The third thing, which is just as important as the first two, is your overall strategy. And your, a strategy is a plan. Essentially, what a strategy does is tell you what you want to look towards. In other words, you want to consider what line material you want. In many cases, different types of materials will have different effects out in the environment. Is this rope going to be in the sun or the water? Some materials might not resist sun and water as long as other. The other we slightly spoke of is the diameter of the line. If you have line that is too thick, it might not suit your purposes. And lastly are the uses. The uses of the rope. Some ropes float, for example. Some line and cordage does not. So that may affect how you want to do it and what particular purpose or use you're going to have in your overall strategy. In our next video, we'll look at the introduction of cordage, line, and knot crafting by beginning with constructing one of the most important packages of knot crafting, and that is coiling.